uh, talk about email alerts. Email alerts are being used in floors and work floor rules to send emails. You go to setup and in the quick find box you type email alerts you end up here under process automation and workflow actions you click email alerts and then you're going to create a new email alerts new email alerts you can trigger an email alerts from a workflow rule or a flaw. Account. I don't have email template here. Let's see if I have it. I have few out of the box ones here. Yeah. This is a developer box. Select a recipients, user. So this is this get triggered of object account and e send emails to this one. Everything J. You can select account owner, case team, creator, email, field owner, public groups, related contact related lead or contact owner related user role role and internal subordinate user from email address you can use uh, current user's email address or or by default uh, uh, email addresses let's take it uh, as current user's email address you can save it Um, so you created a, a created an email alert. There's a typo here. So <coughs> email. So yeah, we create an email alert. This is the email template. No, currently no rule is using this email alert. This is how you create an email alert. I have workflow rule. You can modify it to send an email alert. It triggers off account here. Under workflow actions, you have to edit it new email alerts I'm going to create an existing one right so select existing action email alert So so we created an email alert we added to the workflow rule. This is the email ad alert. Recipients is this person, user.
so you know how to create an email alert. Yeah.